Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Optional update KB5003214 is now rolling out for Windows 10. It started rolling out earlier today on the 26th of May 2021. Now this is an optional preview build update and we normally get the optional updates in the last week or near the end of each month after the automatic patch Tuesday updates which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. And if you don't install this update because it is an optional update, all these fixes um, will be bundled into the next patch Tuesday update which will be in June and that will contain all of these fixes if you don't install this update now. Now if we just head over to our search and we type in Winver with this KB5003214 optional update, the OS build now for 21H1 is 19043.1023 and if you're on 20H2 that'll be 19042 and 2004 will be 19041 and it is exactly the same update just spread across those three different versions of Windows 10. Now to get the update as always just head over to your settings, update and security and yeah you can check for updates. Now it's an optional update so it will just appear and will say optional update here under Windows update and as I mentioned earlier you don't have to um, install the update it will be bundled into next month's um, automatic compulsory patch Tuesday update. Now if you do, do decide to install KV5003214 do yourself a favor and make a restore point before you do anything with the update. You know we have had a bit of a bad run over the last while with Windows updates and I've had a lot of report backs of updates causing problems on users Windows 10 PCs so do yourself a favor and create a restore point and then obviously if there are any problems you can always run uh, roll your uh, system back to a previous uh, timestamp before the update and you know if for whatever reason you're battling to install it in Windows Update you can just head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog and you can do a search for the update there and then you can just find your version and download it and install it manually and that should you know, solve the problem. Another thing you can do if there are problems with the update, you can also, maybe it's not installing, you can always go to the troubleshooter, additional troubleshooters, and you can always run the Windows Update troubleshooter, and that could also help resolve an issue if the update is not installing. Now, the big, um, the, 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 the newest change in this update, um, KB5003214, is now that with this update the news and interests feed is rolling out to everybody so for those of you who have been asking over the last couple of weeks the news and interests feed will be rolled out automatically with this optional update KB5003214 and this is the update I'm talking about if we go to view update history because it's an optional update we find it right at the bottom under other updates and we can see here uh, on the 26th of May, cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 21H1, that's also 20H2 and 2004, KB5003214. And the news and interest feed, I'm not going to get into too much in this video because I have made a couple of videos previously. But just a quick summary, if you hover over it or click on it, you get your news and interests where you get your weather, you know, you get your different articles. You can, you know, X out of articles if you're not interested. You can, you know, edit location, you know, hide the card, have more settings. You can like articles. You can have emojis. You can save and bookmark them for later and so on. And then I also noticed with the news and interest feed, which I've had um, over the, you know, for a, a, a while now, if you right click on it in the news and interests, you now have two other options which weren't there previously. You know, you had your show icon and text, show icon only. You could turn it off completely if you didn't want it. Now you can reduce your taskbar updates. So that's obviously, you know, if you're on a muted connection, that will help. And then you can open on hover, which I've taken off because I prefer to actually click on it 
because I found the when I went over it, it was always opening it and that was just becoming a little bit inconvenient. So now the news and interest feed is now available for all. If you if you update your PC with KB5003214. And now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a bug fix update and doesn't carry any security updates. And there's a couple of bugs that have been fixed. And the first one is that your phone app, um, if you, you know, if it, your Android apps, your, your Android apps pinned to your taskbar with your phone app, if they weren't launching, then this um, update will fix that bug and you will be able to launch your Android apps if you are using a compatible um, smart uh, phone, will be able to launch again from the taskbar. And then another bug, as I mentioned, there are quite a few. Um, if you had a touch uh, screen device which wasn't working, this bug apparently will fix that um, problem of your touch device not working. And then there was another bug where if you removed an item from your desktop, that that, you know, the, the item would pop back after you have removed it from your desktop. And this KB5003214 apparently fixes that problem. And then video playback issues. If you've had any playback problems or issues in Windows 10, this update also addresses those problems. And then the good news is that the ongoing, ongoing Bluetooth issues that have been ongoing for quite a while now with different updates, according to Microsoft, those issues have been fixed in this latest optional update and then of course um, you have numerous performance improvements so for those of you who have been having problems say you know with gaming or performance issues or high CPU usage this update will apparently um, according to Microsoft resolve those problems and then if your location service for whatever reason was not working um, KB5003214 addresses that problem so just want to let you know KB5003214 is now rolling out. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is not a compulsory automatic update, so you don't have to install it. So if you have had no problems with your PC and you have the news and interests feed already, you don't have to install this update. As I mentioned, everything will be bundled into the next Patch Tuesday update. But of course, if you want in the news and interests feed and you haven't received it yet, then KB5003214 Three, two, one, four. We'll pop that right here as your taskbar widget in Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.